actually recording right now. I'm Jose Akins, I'm from New Chicago. I've walked into uh, 170 West Polk, Printer's Corner. Spectac spectacular high rise here. There we go. With uh, windows that some people say and views may take your breath away. <laughs> uh, Chad Bao. Uh, Chad, tell me what your role is here and uh, where we are basically. Well, uh, my role here is I'm the director of sales and marketing for the developer Winthrop Properties. Um, we are standing on the 11th floor right now in the sales center. And as, we, as he said, we're at 170 West Polk, which is uh, just near the, the uh, an L location here. We're near the downtown location. It's a quick car ride to the highway, to shopping, to anything that you need in the Chicagoland area. We're right around the corner. And look at the scale model here. Uh, tell me a little bit about the building. You know, some of the things that we did, because everybody seems to want the corner units in the buildings that we build, is this building actually has corners for every unit. One bedrooms, two bedrooms, everybody has their own corner and has their own balcony. So the, art, the design here is that the, the bottom half fits with the architecture of Printer's Row, and the top half is a little more modern, but allows everybody to have their own corner units. It's a, a brick base at the building, isn't it? That's yeah. correct. Well, it's it's concrete underneath. It's a brick facade. Brick facade. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we are looking at uh, on the Chicago River, Richard Goldberg's Great River City across the way. Some great views. Quite a few of your units are sold and occupied already. That's correct. We right now we're seventy five percent sold. Um, probably three quarters of that is already occupied. We've still got a few units remaining, 25%. Uh, and some of the reason that we've actually had a lot of traffic recently is a lot of people who want to buy now don't want to buy something that somebody else has lived in. So we have ready to go brand new homes that are available to somebody today. So. How fast could I move in if I uh, signed a contract today? Um, probably the quickest move in we've had is two weeks. Uh, and it depends on you know how willing you are to be a little bit a little bit flexible with us. We might be able to pull that in if you really need to move quickly. Okay. What uh, what kind of price ranges are we looking at here for remaining units? Uh, price ranges start in the two eighties uh, and they go up from there into the fours and some into the fives. Parking uh, included in those prices or extra? Parking is extra. Okay. Mm -hmm. And parking is still available. Parking is still available. As a matter of fact, as of today. There is enough parking for the remaining units, and the next three contracts that close will get a free parking space. And parking starts at $36,000, so there's some great value to uh, be had in the next couple days. So you're offering essentially almost the equivalent of a 10% price discount? Essentially. Mm -hmm. okay. What's been the most attractive feature here besides the corner units? What else are people liking? The you most know, I, I think from what I have seen and from talking to the sales manager, Tim, and the, the most attractive part of this is, I think as you had mentioned earlier, is real bedrooms. The walls of the bedrooms go all the way to the ceiling. So it's shocking. Why aren't people building real bedrooms <laughs> anymore? The right, heck? right. Um, the technical answer is you need natural light. So all of our bedrooms have natural light from floor to ceiling windows. Um, the other thing I think that really helps to sell our homes is the quality. We build a home kind of as things that we would want to live in. So when we sit down and we design something and come up with ideas of what should be in the home, it's something that we would want in our homes. Um, and I think that resonates when people come here and see our product and then go and see a few other products around here. Although they're quality products, they just don't have quite the level of finish uh, that we have. And you'll see that when we walk through one of the models. Uh, this is one of our standard kitchens. It's the way that we, as I said before, we like to finish them just how we would like to live in there. So stainless steel appliances, some nice things that we do are inch and a quarter granite, which is not an upgrade. Um, we also do custom Italian cabinetry, which have some of the self closers, makes the drawers close nicely. One thing that a lot of people don't get when they move into a home after seeing a model is there's some things that are different in a mirrored backsplash and undermount lighting in the cabinets. If that's not there when you move into your home, your kitchen feels different, you don't know why. We include it in every one of our homes because we also include it in our models. So it just feels different. The 10 foot ceilings feel different to me. 10 foot They're ceilings are a huge difference. I think that's one of the reasons that our place feels different when somebody walks in, just walks in off the street versus walking into other properties is the 10 foot ceilings. Um, and they're concrete ceilings and floors to help significantly reduce any sound transfer from above or below you. 
Um, yet our ceilings look like drywall, which is what everybody wants. We skim coat them so they look exactly like drywall. They look like a single family home, uh, but they have concrete above you. Looking at a balcony. Every home has a balcony too. So that's, you know, every home has a corner, every home has a balcony. And yeah, one of the great features, uh, we won't go in there, but uh, a full bedroom with floor to ceiling with floor walls. floor to ceiling walls, right. We, uh, and floor to ceiling windows. And floor to ceiling windows in your bedrooms, in your living space. The nice thing about the floor to ceiling windows here is they also open. So some of the high rises you would move into wouldn't necessarily have open or operable windows. We have windows that pull in and open and let you get fresh air. A little offset in the hallway, lots of nice touches in the air. Well, one, you know, one thing that a lot of people don't get when they walk into a condo is they don't get to walk into a foyer and put their keys somewhere and hang their coat up. They end up putting it on their dining room table or they end up putting it you know, right on the island here so your kitchen becomes a storage area. That's the reason we did that is there's a place to put your stuff, hang your coat, and right next to that is where you have your laundry, which we include all of our washer and dryers, so you can do your laundry right out there as well. Thanks, Jay. No problem.